So the next slider here controls the saturation. The higher we go, the more saturated the color. The lower we go, the less saturated. Now the maximum value here is 100. Again, you can change that by typing in a number using the arrows or just sliding here. Uh, the next strip, horizontal strip here is the value. Again, the maximum value is 100. Basically, this controls the brightness. The lower we go, the darker the color. The higher we go, the more brighter the color. The next three strips uh, control the amount of red, green, and blue. The maximum value here is 255. For example, we can remove all the blue, we get this color, we can go all the way up here, we get another color. You can all, all, use all these uh, strips here to achieve the color that you're desiring. Now the next option here is the HTML notation, uh, hexadecimal code that we get here and uh, you can use that if you like this color, for example, you want to use it for your website you can see what the code is here and you can use that or you can type in a code and see and uh, uh, select that color now the next option here is the eyedropper if we click on that we get the eyedropper and we get the ability to choose uh, any color we see on the screen for example this green here see how it's assigned to our current color or but not only on the image in GIMP we can also choose anything on the screen that we see for example this eraser tool here I can choose the color of that <coughs> now down here we have 12 slots uh, which represent our previous uh, used colors and uh, not uh, the one that we have been playing around with but the one that we have been assigning so right now if I assign this color by clicking OK every, if I bring out the color selection dialog again you see the color is saved here you can also save colors by clicking this arrow here and the color will become visible here now have in mind that every time you assign a color the oldest one will disappear so this is just a temporary place where your colors and previously used colors are stored we will talk about palettes in the future where you can store uh, many colors and save them and use them every time you need uh, we'll continue in the next video with the next tab bye